when you need a friend. Since 1953, AM radio listeners in North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee have tuned in to WKAC 1080 in Athens for Sick Call. The half-hour broadcast has been a family affair all those years. Jay Hudson started in 1973. Well, thank you all very much for listening to another Sick Call program. His son, Corey, joined him in 1999. It's old-time radio. It is. That's all it is. It's kept folks up to date on what's going on in the community six days a week. Happy birthday to Jackson Bailey. We got one anniversary, and I believe it's number 50 for Jimmy and Sadie Clay. Good friends of ours. Hope you have a good day. A few things have changed. They have to get written permission before they can talk about somebody's health. And when you're admitted to the Athens Hospital, they say, do you want your name on sick call? So, I mean, we're, we're still important enough. So important that in 2018, Athens Mayor Ronnie Marks honored Corey and Jay with a key to the city and a certificate of appreciation for being classic Southern characters. That they are. I had Liam most every time. And I just let whatever falls out, falls <laughs> out. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. We'll get into the news after we hear from one of our sponsors. You never know what you're going to get. I was doing Hometown's ad one day, and I was, instead of snack cakes, I said, those, those, they got snake cakes. Well, Daryl said, everybody come in down there and said, where's them snake cakes? <laughs> so it shows people, listen, even yeah. if you mess it up, yeah. it don't make no difference. And uh, we've had fun. Sick Call is celebrating 70 years on the air, and the next generation of broadcasters will be ready to take over the mic. His son is already uh, learning it. No, it, it'll never go away until they just say, leave. You know, they'll have to throw us out. And with people listening here and across the country, thanks to the station's live streaming, that's not going to happen in Athens. Good Lord willing, we'll be back with you in the morning. Jerry Hayes, News 19. Jay left the broadcast about a year and a half ago to fight cancer. He died last Monday. A graveside service was held yesterday at the Athens City Cemetery. Jay Hudson was 80 years old.